let's learn how to apply an adjustment layer to one singular layer in Photoshop in this quick and simple tutorial. On my canvas I have a Photoshop file that comprises of a handful of layers. I've got a background layer, I've got a hidden text layer, and then I've got a duplicated image, one here on the left, one here on the right. So I'm going to quickly add an adjustment layer, come over to my adjustments panel, I'm going to add a hue saturation layer. So I'll click here and I'll just adjust the hue down as such. So right now that hue saturation layer is applying to the whole document. So if I want it to just apply to the layer directly below the adjustment layer, all I have to do is click Alt, Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, and G. So I've got my hue saturation layer selected, Alt, Command or Control G, and you can see now it's applying it directly to the layer below. And if I want to stop this application and have the adjustment layer apply to the whole document again, I can press Alt, Command, Control G again, and it reverts back. Now I can also apply this adjustment layer to multiple layers by putting those multiple layers inside a group. So if I take the left and the right here, right click, group from layers, group one is okay, press okay. So I put these two layers now in a group without the background layer. So I do the same again, select the hue saturation layer, Alt, Command or Control and G, and you can see now it's applying to this group with the two layers in, but it's not applying to the background layer. And you can see here, if I double click, and I change the hue, you can see it's only applying to those two layers and not the background layer. So there you have it. There is a simple way to apply an adjustment layer to just one singular layer or a group of layers inside a group and not every single layer below the adjustment layer in the document. So I really hope you found this helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.